everybody welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat uh, I'm my name is Sarah Keller I'm the owner of not, our, not another hat joining you live from here in the store and it feels like forever since we've talked since last week I played hooky and took a little vacay with some of my bestest friends in the world so you might have caught our very brief little hello that we um, we gave everyone from the restaurant where we were having lunch so I'm sorry that I missed you last week, but that means that I have a million and one things to talk about this week, which is always exciting. Better than zero, right? So let's see. Where should I start? I've put away, put away, I've put together, I haven't put away anything. Um, I've put together some more sail away combos. So if you haven't ordered your yarn yet, you just might be tempted to try some of these. And if you haven't ordered your yarn yet, you also might be tempted <laughs> to try some of these. So let me show you these. I'm going to be photographing them and adding them to a blog post uh, later today. So right now I don't have them um, available for you to go and look at, but I'll tell you what they are and what their names are and everything. So if you're interested, you can go for it. Okay, first up, we have some really beautiful combos um, in Tosh DK, which I didn't really talk about the, in our first round of Sail Away discussions. And so I, in my hand here is Astrid Gray and a limited edition color called You Do You. I'm gonna talk more about that color um, later in the video. But I also love Astrid Gray and this mood ring color called Vintage Sari. So the mood ring colors are also somewhat limited edition. They're colors that Tosh can't dye regularly because every they, they're so different every time. They um, depending on the humidity and the temperature and the day they're dyeing them and the, I mean like atmospheric pressure, like everything causes this color to come out differently. And so they did a limited release and Vintage Sorry is one of my absolute favorite colors. So I love this combo. Look at that. It's almost iridescent. You see some of that right there. So I think that would be really gorgeous as well. Um, and then of course, there's another mood ring color combo that's really great. Both of these are mood ring colors. We have Fallen Cloud and Fog. And this would be a beautiful two color sail away, in my humble opinion. Uh, so there's, there's some options there. One more, one more. Well, it's another mood ring color because they're just so delicious. This is Fog and Opaline. So look at that beautiful color going on in Opaline. So those are some Tosh DK options that I think are absolutely beautiful. Oh, I have one more. Sorry, these are not mood ring colors. This is Leopard, classic, classic Leopard. And then this is a one of a kind that is very much like Red Fox, and, but it would be so beautiful in another two color version of, um, of Sail Away. So this one, if you're interested in this combo, uh, just email us because we've got Leopard on the website, the one of a kind colors we don't have on the website. So those are the Tosh DK options. And, oh, here's another amazing option. I don't have the swatch to show you. Jill, Jill swatched the pattern. It's at her house drying. And so we'll have it later this week. We'll put a picture up of it because it's amazing, but, Jill did up a swatch of the wool cotton, which we've been talking a lot about, and Spree, which is a wool cotton blend. They have the same blend, but Spree is a color changing yarn. And so just as a two color option with Spree acting as kind of a multicolor option because it changes colors as it goes, it is beautiful. Jill did a teal and some other teal color, and I just grabbed these two to show you. But if you're looking for really simplified options, you can choose a main color and then a contrast spree and let spree do all the work for you. So love that. Similar vein, I grabbed a couple combos with uh, Feederbrook Farms Entropy because Ingrid posted some pictures that she was considering with Entropy and of course that makes me start thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> so whoop, let's turn that around. So this is good old ultra wool. This would be for the worsted weight version and Entropy in potential energy, but wouldn't that be gorgeous? And again, you would just be letting entropy do the work for you um, as your contrast color. I just think that would be an amazing combo. I grabbed another one here. 
This is, oh, I didn't say which ultra wool. This, this ultra wool is 33103. I don't know the name, unfortunately, but 33103. And I, I'll have pictures of them later. So we have another ultra wool combo. This is 33159 right here. It's like a dark kind of berry color. And then this is Entropy in Spectrum. How fun would this be? <laughs> It's so tempting to use these um, self-coloring yarns because not only are they kind of doing the work for you, like you would just knit with it without worrying about changing for contrast one and contrast two, but they're delighting you with their surprise color changes as you work. So I just think, mm, that's a very tempting combo right there. So that is just a little bit more inspiration for sail away you still have plenty of time to get it all figured out because this doesn't kick off until july so we have still yet a whole month and we have some pattern codes to give away for you non knit camp members so knit campers you don't need to enter this contest you get the pattern for free as a member of knit camp but if you are not in knit camp and you want to do sail away and you don't have your pattern yet we're going to give away a few pattern codes. So please leave a comment here on this video saying, I would like to win a pattern code. All right. Let us say that explicitly so we know that you're actually interested. Um, so that way we don't just choose randomly from the comments and end up picking a knit campers because I know we have a lot of knit campers here um, in our little world as well. We, we have a lot of overlap. I am not seeing comments. So hopefully, hopefully... <laughs> Somebody can see comments. I, I'll be able to see them after the video is over. So don't worry if you're entering the contest. So leave a comment. Say, I would like to win um, a, knit, a, a sail away free pattern. And we will get in touch with our winners um, after we review all the comments. Okay. Next. Let's go back to what I said I would talk about again later. This special color is part of a new thing we're doing with Tosh called Hue of the Moment. So this is a once a month subscription and it is a limited edition color. And so the, we just got our first one, it's Hue, it's a uh, You Do You. And it's in, um, we're getting it in the Merino Light base, which is this one right here. And then the Tosh DK base. How fun is this? I fell in love so fast. <laughs> I already cast it on a shawl and I'm gonna show you guys. I have been wanting to get some brioche on the needles because I love doing, I love doing brioche um, lace, you know, like the, not just straight brioche. And I grabbed, these are my colors right here. So I really loved You Do You, this guy. And we had these other colors. So this is Undergrowth, the blue green, and then Wino Forever, which is pretty funny. And then You Do You. So I grabbed these three colors. And here is my progress. This is some of what I worked on over the weekend. I did a lot of gardening this weekend, which was so nice. It was such a restorative, but I also did some knitting. So here is the beginnings of Marvelous. I've actually knit this before. I made it in um, three skeins that I had bought at Fiber Festivals. So I never really had it on display at the store because it wasn't yarn I sold. It was just three personal stash skeins. And so, um, this, I hope, I hope everybody, I hope this is working since I can't see comments. Um, I am doing it again because I find it so entertaining, absolutely entertaining. So I'm in my first brio section here. Oh, I love it so much. Here's the backside in the multi. So if you also are interested in doing some brioche lace or brioche movement, but you only have basic brioche skills, we have the perfect class for you and it's on Saturday. It is with Ingrid, it's only $25. It's a two hour class, it's called More Brioche and it's online so you can take it from anywhere. Um, and she is the brioche master. Oh, thanks, my mom texted me, it's working. <laughs> Thank you, thank you mom. <laughs> uh, Ingrid is a master at teaching brioche online and she's going to cover two basic increases, two basic decreases. You work a swatch that comes out the size of a coaster. It's just what you would need to make something like Marvelous. So if you were, in, and I'm not trying to like, I'm not purposely making ours soft on this. It is mauve, as in the color mauve, Marvelous. <laughs> if you're looking for this pattern. 
So at any rate, it's an excellent opportunity to buff up your brioche skills. And so we've got that information in the Not Another Hat Unraveled. I also shared it to our Facebook page a day or day ago, maybe. Um, so if you scroll down, you'll probably be able to see the post. There's registration information. You can just, you know, make a phone call. It's $25 and uh, it's going to be a fantastic class. And then you too can make something like marvelous. Um, all right, on to our next, on to our next subject. My shawl pattern called Route One from last fall's Good Vibes Yarn Tour is now available. So here it is. I did it in two colors of Linera Secretos. And it's a big rectangular wrap, shawl slash scarf, depending on how you like to wear it. And it's really fun and entertaining because you're switching up your stitch patterns periodically, keeping you interested. So that's available on its own or as an ebook of all three patterns from the fall tour. So if you weren't on the fall tour and you think you might like all three patterns, the ebook is $14.99. It's a great deal. Um, cheaper than getting them separately and it comes with technique videos and then a little bit of inspiration videos where each designer talks about our inspiration for our um, our own designs. The other designs in this ebook are a DK weight cowl and a DK slash worsted weight um, crescent shawl like a triangle. So very very fun ebook if you're interested that is on the Good Vibes Yarn Tour website goodvibesyarntour.com and you can also get Route 1 alone on Ravelry. And we have some really fun combos. If you like the blue yellow colorway um, that I designed in, we've got Papa Pitupo, that's the blue here, and Dolce Vita, which is the yellow. That would work really beautifully. If you want a little more subtle tropical feel, we have Shortcake here and Hanalei Sunset right here. I think this would be a really gorgeous summery combination. And if fall colors are your jam, I love this mix here. This is cauldron. It's kind of a green gray and my happy place, which is a beautifully dyed like gold to like acid green. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think those two would be really pretty. And then there's the classic. Every time I pair these together, I call it Molly Ringwald. Um, <laughs> and this is Summeron right here in the light gray and blush in the pink. So there's some really fun, those are all in Linera Secretos, which is what I designed it. It takes just one skein of each one um, for that shawl. It's really kind of boring when I can't see your comments and interact with you. Gosh darn it. But okay, I have one more thing to show you. It also makes it go fast. Very fun, very excited for a release next week of a new pattern that I've designed. It's called Coastal. And I'm so, so proud of this one. I really, really love how it came out. This is a um, asymmetrical triangle shawl. And it's knit in, you guessed it, coastal in three colors. And so I'm not going to talk too much about it because we'll talk about it again next week. But I just wanted to give you guys all a little preview because I love it. I'm so happy with it. And um, I love how it came out. So, all right. I think, I think. Wait, wait, let me just look at my notes. I made notes. More sail away combos, check. Pattern giveaway, check. And if you're just hopping on, maybe leave a comment on the video here in Facebook that says you're interested in winning a free copy of sail away. So knit campers, you don't need to do that. You're already getting it. But anyone else who's interested, will draw some winners after the video posts. Um, cue of the moment, we covered that. Good, oh! <laughs> Good thing I checked my list. Okay, speaking of all this tosh I just showed you, we have a super, super fun event coming up on June 12th. So this year, the Good Vibes Yarn Tour is hosting a Good Vibes pop-up shop. And we are going to all three shops, so Cadence at Fuzzy Goat, Janet at String Theory, and me here at Not Another Hat. We are all getting tosh trunk shows of yarn, not garments, but yarn of skeins, and we're doing pop-up shops and we all have different bases. So you can shop at each one of our pop-ups and get different base, um, different weights, etc. So we'll all have a different collection and we're gonna do some live Facebook videos for our pop-up shops on Sunday the 12th, starting at 1.30 Pacific. So Cadence is going at 1.30 for half an hour 
then Janet for at two o'clock for half an hour and then me at 2.30 for half an hour. And we'll each showcase like some beautiful combinations that we received. My two bases are Tosh Merino Light and Vintage, the Worsted. I'm getting those two. I think Janet's getting Pashmina and Sport, I think. And then Cadence has, <laughs> I know she has the Twist Light which is the plied fingering and maybe the DK. I've forgotten now, but it's going to be really, really fun. We'll put some more info out in the newsletter, but if you're interested, save the date. We will have this yarn on our website after the live event. So it's going to be available beyond just the live event. The live event's just for fun, just to show everybody like fun combos that we like, etc. So we'll have this up on the website. Since it's all one of a kind, what we're going to do is offer you like one, two and three skein combos where it's a little bit of a, a mystery, like we're gonna be picking for you, but you can give us some direction in your order notes. Um, and we have lots of great pattern suggestions for using one, two, or three skeins. So um, that's gonna be super fun. So that's what's coming down the pipe. Okay, that was what I hit there. Coastal, shawl, got it, I got it, I got everything. Um, I'm sorry for the lack of interaction. I wish I could see everybody's comments. I'm not doing something wrong, am I? No, this is where they are. It just shows me kind of like so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching, but it doesn't show me any of the comments, but oh well, we'll live to go live another day. <laughs> All right, everybody, um, welcome to June. Somehow it's June now. Um, I mean, I know it's not technically now, but like in a few hours it will be. I don't know how that happened, but I will see you guys again next week for our first June lunch chat of the month. So. All right, everybody, take care and happy knitting or crocheting or whatever, you, rolling in your yarn. Happy rolling in your yarn. Bye.